Hey everyone, I'm Luc Durand, the founder of Ranking Academy. I started this nearly 10 years ago to help local business owners like you get better results online. And since then, I've helped thousands do just that. In today's lesson, I'm going to walk you through setting up Google Analytics 4 for one of my clients. This way, you'll be able to track how well your own website is performing. It's super quick and easy, even if you're a total beginner. So if you're ready, let's jump right in. Head over to google.com slash analytics and click on Get Started Today. Sign in using your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, create one only takes a few minutes. Simply click on Create Account to get started. Once you've created an account and you've logged in, you'll be redirected to the Google Analytics welcome page. Click on Start Measuring to begin the setup process. You'll now be prompted to name your Google Analytics account. To keep things clear and professional, I suggest you use your business name. In this case, Excel Electricians Limited. Scroll down to the Account Data Sharing Settings section. You can either leave the settings as they are or adjust them if you prefer not to share certain data. If you're unsure, it's safe to leave these settings as is. Once you've configured your account name and data sharing preferences, click Next to proceed. You will now be asked to create a property. If you're unsure what that means, a property is like a folder that contains all the information about a specific website or app. When you create a property in Google Analytics, you get a special code to place on your website or app. This code helps Google Analytics track data, such as how many people visit your website, which pages they go to, and how long they stay on them. In this case, I want to track my client's website, so I'll use his business name and add website next to it to clearly indicate what's being tracked. Next, select your time zone. Since I'm working with a local business based in London, I'll choose the United Kingdom for the time zone. I'll also change the default currency from dollars to pounds. Once you're done, click Next. Now, you'll be prompted to describe your business, starting with choosing a category. There isn't a huge variety of options here, so select something close to what you do. Specify the number of employees and then click Next. You'll then be asked to choose your business objectives. Whatever you select here, will determine which reports you can view in the interface later. Your choice will depend on what you aim to achieve with your website or app. Since this tutorial is for beginners, I recommend keeping things simple at this stage. I'll choose the other option. Don't worry, you can change that later if you want, then click Create. Next, you'll need to accept Google's terms and conditions. First, ensure you select the country your business is located in, then click I accept. Once you've accepted the terms and conditions, Google will ask what data you want to collect so it can generate the appropriate code. In this scenario, I want to track the activity of my client's website, so I'll click on the web option. In the sliding window, enter your website's URL exactly as it appears in a browser. If it includes www, add it. If not, leave it out. In this case, it doesn't. For the stream name, simply add your business name and the date you created this data stream, so you can easily remember when it was set up. Leave everything else as it is, and then click Create and Continue. Stay on the screen for a moment, and a pop-up window will appear with a code you need to install on your website, which will enable Google to track its activity. There are three ways to install this code on your website. You can do it manually by copying and pasting it into every page of your site, which is great if you know what you're doing. Alternatively, you can use something called Google Tag Manager if you have it set up, although this is unlikely if you're new to Google Analytics. Or by clicking on more options, you can install the tag directly via a content management system like WordPress, Wix, Shopify, Squarespace, and so on. Since most websites today are built on these platforms, I recommend using this option as it's much easier to install. Simply tick the appropriate radio button, then click Next. By default, you should see the Monster Insights plugin selected. 
Click on it to reveal all available options. Let's go through an example. If your website is built on WordPress, choose the SiteKit plugin option. You'll be shown detailed instructions on how to install the tag via WordPress. Let me show you how it's done. Log into your WordPress website, click on Plugins, then Add New Plugins. In the search box, type SiteKit and install it. Once installed, activate it and press Start Setup. Tick the radio button that says Connect Google Analytics as part of your setup and sign in with your Google account. Select the Google account you use to create your Google Analytics account. Tick Select All and click Continue. Follow the instructions on the screen and your website will be connected with Google Analytics. You should see the name of your Google Analytics account, the property name and the data stream name, which should all match what we've added. Click Complete Setup and that's it. Congratulations, you've successfully connected your website to Google Analytics. Now let me show you how to do this with another popular website builder, Wix. First, follow the previous instructions until you reach the step where you choose your website builder. Click on Select your platform. In the right-hand side window, scroll down until you find the Wix option, then click on it. This will show you how to add your Google Analytics tag to your Wix website. Here is how to do it. Start by copying your tag ID from Google Analytics. Then, log into your Wix website. Note, you need a premium Wix site connected to a domain to integrate Google Analytics. Once you've logged in, from your dashboard, look at the menu on the left. Scroll down until you get to Settings, then click on it. Locate the Marketing Integration section and click on it. You should see an option for Google Analytics right at the top. Click on that. Now, paste your Google Tag ID into the appropriate fields and hit Save. Unfortunately, I can't show you the exact last step as I don't have a Premium Wix account, but as you can see, it's really straightforward. For other website builders, just select the correct option from the list in Google Analytics and follow a similar process. It's super simple. And that's it, guys. See, I told you it was easy. Now that your Google Analytics account is all set up, it's time to dive into the reports and set up some key tracking metrics to help boost your bottom line. I'll walk you through all of that in this next video. Don't miss it.